The darkness thrives on the light, which I know doesn't make much sense. Why would dark need light? You would think it would be the exact opposite, but in this twisted reality, light is life itself. So the darkness needs life to exist, which makes me think that the darkness killing people and taking their soul helps it thrive and survive. So I have to do whatever it takes to stop the darkness from consuming the universe, whatever it takes. Hey guys, before we continue with this episode of Life, I want you guys to check out another channel that I make Minecraft videos on every single day. It's called The Proper Dummies. We make Minecraft videos with like YouTubers like Unspeakable Gaming, Moosecraft, Ryguy Rocky, and much more. So if you guys want to see daily videos on that channel, go check it out. The link is down below in the description and go subscribe. Now enjoy life. I can't believe what that book said in the city. <laughs> that the darkness needs light to survive and light is life. So the only way to stop the darkness is to extinguish all life, but isn't that doing exactly what the darkness wants? To consume and destroy all life? So if I somehow destroyed all life and stopped the darkness, what would be the point of stopping the darkness? All life would be completely destroyed. <sighs> I need to think about this. I don't know what to do. Oh. Annabelle? Annabelle, what, oh. are you, what are you doing here? Where have you been? What, what are you talking about? I was just making the bed. What, what do you mean? What? You've been gone for weeks, if not a month. What? No, that that can't be right. We we just went to bed and now No, I'm no, here. no, no. Let me explain. What happened was that one night we went to bed. I woke up the next morning and you were gone. The 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 you were just completely gone. There was no <laughs> sign of you whatsoever. Okay? You were just vanished. I searched the city, the little village over there. I searched our other abandoned buildings. I even went in and searched the mine. And then I heard a whole bunch of noises and decided to seal it up because I honestly don't know what's down there. Where have you been for the last month? Well, I, I know I swear like I, I was just here We went to sleep and I woke up. Are you sure that you didn't drink too much of the dirty water from the pond? No, or no, some, like I don't I don't I haven't gone anywhere. I've just been here. Right? I've done so much since you've been gone I I found a whole nother city. I've I've I've, I've been outside I the, now you're making me think that I was dreaming about all this But I wasn't time has passed and to prove it I can show you something okay to prove that I'm not wrong and that clearly something's wrong with you. Let me okay. let me show you something, okay? So since you've been gone, I've been trying to make contact with my home planet Earth to warn okay. them about this planet and the darkness that lies within because if they send a whole bunch of humans here, I don't know what would happen because I learned some things about the darkness too, Annabelle, and I'll clue mm -hmm. you in after I prove my point. But follow okay. me. So to reach out to Earth, I had to, you know, make communication with them, but currently my communication device would take a few years to allow my message to reach Earth, and I don't have a few years time. For all I know, they could be sending people here as I speak. So, mm -hmm. I had to build an antenna, a huge antenna, something that will boost my signal strength and allow a message to reach Earth within a few days, maybe a week or two. Okay, so let me show you. If this antenna exists up here, that means you are Ron, and for some reason, you don't remember where you were for the last month, and if it okay. isn't up here, that means I'm going crazy, which, would really suck. Now wait. <laughs> well, oh, there it is. There it is. Yep, that's it. Oh. There it is. That's the oh antenna. Oh my gosh. Okay, see how, that antenna? I built that. This, how long did it take for you to build that? It took me a whole day. Uh, a couple days actually. I had to gather supplies and then structure this. And then I sent the message off to Earth, which was about a week ago. I haven't heard back from anyone yet, but the message went off, you know, without a hitch. And this antenna exists, which means. You don't remember where you were for the last month. But a how? month? A month? Well, he said a couple weeks. A few weeks I mean, to a month. It had to be close to a month. I haven't been keeping track of days. I did but... have like weird dreams. I, you know, it was really... Dreams? Tell me know. about your dreams. It, it could have been the... stuff that was really happening to you. Well, I don't know. Like, it it wasn't much. Like, it just felt really cold and dark. And that dark? was my entire dream. Cold? Just alone, cold, so and for dark. for the last and... month, all you remember is being alone and cold and... Just, just seeing darkness. Oh, it didn't it didn't feel like a month. Like I said, I, I don't even remember being gone. I just thought we went to bed yesterday. And like I said, my dream, like, it was just nothingness. It felt like nothing. It was really weird. It just, but yet time felt like it was or passing or... quicker? That doesn't make any no, sense. It just felt like a normal, normal night. Just, okay, so it felt like, one month felt like one night. Where were you? Yes. Do you, I don't know. I don't know. You have no know. sense if of time? 
That means you if had you to be really in like a think dark that hole. I was gone, a hole? I mean, if you think that I was gone, I really can't argue. I mean, you have the proof that you built something amazing, and all I have is saying that I was asleep in a dream. But I don't I don't know where I could have gone. I don't remember walking anywhere. I don't remember climbing any mountains. I don't remember anything like that. Man, Annabelle, you gotta start thinking. You can't just disappear for a month and be like, all I remember was being in a dark, cold place and it felt like one night. You can't just let me show back up to the cave and see you making the bed acting like you were gone for 12 hours. You were gone for 30 days, at least. Well, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to leave you here alone. I know that we are trying to communicate back to Earth, your planet, but I don't remember being gone. And I, I promise I wouldn't have like just left you here alone. That How wasn't my intention. I supposed to know if I can trust you? You've been gone for so long, and during the period of time you were gone, a lot of things were happening. A lot of things with the darkness. Darkness like was everywhere. I even saw a man. I saw a man running right through this woods. I never caught up with him, but I saw him, I swear. And as I was chasing him, oh, okay. things got darker and darker. Kind of like the first time I saw you. Like, at first I didn't know if you actually existed, if you were just a figment of my imagination. And then I heard yeah. the darkness, and it got dark, and I heard all the loud noises. And then boom, you were still there ne the next day. But with this man, he never came back. After I saw well, maybe, him, maybe he was gone. a dream. Maybe he wasn't real. No, because the same I thing happened. I chased after him. It got dark. Loud, scary noises happened. And then boom. I just, it was back to daylight. And I was in the woods still. But the man was I gone. Wonder. I wonder if there's anybody else. Like, maybe we can still find him. Yeah, but what's weird is you both, well, both people I've seen so far on this planet have been attached to the darkness. Like, when I saw you, mm -hmm. the darkness was there. When I saw him, well, the darkness I, I, I was there. Well, I don't think I have anything to do with the darkness, because, I mean, like I told you, I heard that one really scary noise, you know, last night, or what I think but, was last night, but I guess you think was a month ago, and But you black that out. That scared me. You black out during this. How do you not know that, how do you know that you're not the one making the noise? That you're not the one making those scary noises, and you're kind of living... In like a third person view like your body's moving things are happening but you're not doing it but yet you are but yet like you're i'm not. possessed kind of like what if the what? darkness is an entity that can possess people or what if you're the darkness and when the darkness comes no! out of your soul no! you forget what happened not, and over a I'm month you were just darkness. murdering people no there's no darkness in my soul i promise you i only have good intentions and i heard that noise too you were there you saw i didn't make that noise that wasn't me and I can't believe you're just accusing me of maybe being a part of the darkness just because it follows me and I live on this planet and I told you my parents were gone and they ran away from me I and I thought you don't remember you lived on this planet. Well, I don't know if it was this planet, but I told you that I don't know, the Annabelle. Darkness... Things aren't looking good. I'm happy you're back. I'm happy you're alive. I'm happy I'm not are alone you? anymore, but I don't know if I can trust you. So many weird things. Oh, well, you can. I promise. Huh? Uh, well, okay, 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 okay. How about this? Since there's no benefit to me just not trusting you and pushing you out of my life. I'll just keep my eye on you. And uh, I guess when we go to bed, I'll have to secure you in a room so you can't just vanish again. Because somehow That's for a month... That kind of sounds like torture. You just, well, you just vanish. How do you How do you just like sleepwalk a month of your life away? How well, many I other times know. have you done this? How long have you done it for? That's what scares not me. That I've what known happened? Of, how did you survive? A month without eating and drinking. Maybe you were eating and drinking. The souls of innocent people. Who knows? No, okay. Okay, fine. Just lock me in a room. You'll see. You'll see it wasn't me. You'll see that I didn't go anywhere, eat any souls or anything crazy like that. You'll mm. see. Okay, you know what? How about this? Let's garner some supplies because I want I do want to make a room. Now, I, it's not saying I don't trust you, okay? But I do want to make a room that I can keep my eye on you at night because it seems like the darkness likes the dark. Like nightfall, you know? So, mm -hmm. what we'll do is at night, I'll lock you up, you know, but don't worry, it won't hurt or anything. I'll lock you up in a room that I can monitor and that you can't get out of unless I let you out. And then we'll this see if anything happens. This just sounds like kidnapping or this just sounds mean. No, but think of it this, this way, mean. Annabelle. If you're locked up and the darkness never comes back, then we know for sure that somehow the darkness has something to do with you. Now, I'm not saying that means you are the darkness, but... Maybe you control it? I don't know. But if the darkness still comes out when you're trapped in the room, then I'll know 100% it's not you. Okay, Makes well, sense? I, I, I'm telling you right now, it's not me. But we'll make your room. You know, I'll follow your little plan if it makes you feel safe. But I promise you, I would never hurt anybody intentionally. 
Yeah, but you don't remember what you did for the last month, so how do you know you wouldn't hurt anybody? I don't know, I was just asleep. Asleep like said, for a month? All I, all I know, all I know is that we went to bed after I heard that really scary noise, and then I woke up and I started to make the bed. Uh, well, it was a month that's you, but not it didn't exactly feel like that what happened. Yeah, exactly. That's what scares me, because it was a month, and you don't recall it whatsoever, so that's kind of scary. Uh, let me... Okay, I got this sealed up, okay? So I'm making this room right now, and I'm going to be the only one that holds the key to the door. I'm going to lock you in at night, and we're going to see if anything happens. And when okay. I'm doing this, you try to remember what you were doing. Just try your hardest. Try to think about what it was that you were doing over this period of time that you've been missing because it doesn't make any sense that you can't remember what was going on over the course of a month a month is a long time annabelle a very okay, long time. okay i'm sorry i'm i'm gonna i'm i promise you you're not gonna find anything weird about it okay how about this come to the cave let's brainstorm and i have some things to fill you in on okay i found a okay. book i found an actual city too it was a massive city it was filled with buildings and houses. It looks like it maybe held like a million people at one point. It was like a giant city, like a city that you would see on Earth, like a like a New York City. I know you don't know Earth uh, and you don't New know our cities, but yeah, it's just basically a huge place where a lot of people live and a lot of things happen. And that's what this city was. And the lights, the lights of some of the buildings were still on, which is weird. Oh, really? I know if all humans were to die on Earth, the power facilities and everything would stop running and the power would go out. But for some reason, the houses in this city, they still had power. And the city was not in ruins. It was, like, in perfect condition. And, really? like, tables were still set with dishes. Like, so many things were so set up like in this place. So it's like people were just there. Like, yeah, nobody... exactly. But yet, out of, like, this massive city, I didn't find one person. But I did find a book. And in the book... Okay. It kind of felt like a trap because there was a whole bunch of signs that led me to this book. A whole bunch of signs basically saying, get out, turn away run oh, now gosh. like that kind of stuff but it, i don't know something was pulling me and pulling me and i just kept following these signs and at the end i found this chest with a book in it and the book kind of told me about the darkness it said the darkness needs light to survive and light is mm -hmm. life so the darkness needs life to thrive and survive and i think what it means is the darkness needs to kill things to, yeah to is that why you were you were accusing me of eating souls because you think that that's how the darkness that's survives? definitely what the, how the darkness survives look at this planet you can tell that that city is more proof. The city was definitely full of millions of people at one point, and now no one's there. Not a single soul mm -hmm. survives in that city. Or if they do, they went away somewhere, somewhere far, far away. But it leads me to believe that they're actually all dead, because if they would have ran oh away, my gosh. the city would have been full of panic. There would have been cars everywhere, debris. But no, it was like they, everyone was just sitting down, having dinner, and then boom, just gone. Just nothing, nothing anymore. Just, just emptiness. That's so, terrifying. But this book, this book knew my name. It said, Aviator, you are the universe's only hope. That's what the book said. It had my name in it. And oh, I've gosh. never met anyone else on this planet but you. You have been missing for a man. month. that man. Well, that man I never met. I saw him, but I never talked to him. He wouldn't know my name. You're the only person on this planet that knows my name. So either you wrote the book when you were gone for the last month, or the darkness wrote the book. We're a helper of the darkness, because the the book was trying to help me defeat the darkness. It told me that I'm the universe's only hope and that mm -hmm. I have to defeat the darkness. But the only way I can defeat the darkness is to extinguish all life. Well, that's at least what I think. And I... So you either think that I'm the darkness or I wrote the book to help you fight the darkness. Or someone else that you talked to. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense that the book knew my name. Uh, well, okay. I don't know. Maybe Annabelle... We don't really know much about this place. Get oh, in there. Is it time? Okay. Yes, get in there. I'm gonna lock this door, okay? There's not even a bed in here. I know, I know. You. It just seems really cruel. To you, you've been asleep for a month. How much more sleep do you really need, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna monitor you. I'm not gonna sleep either, so don't worry. I'm gonna monitor you from over here for the next night, and we're gonna see what happens. So you can sit down on the floor, rest your eyes, do whatever you gotta do, and we'll see if anything, I don't know, weird happens over these next 24 hours. Sound like a plan? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I guess. Is, it, is that it? Like, just this floor? Yeah, these walls, that's it. You, get just... that's, that, that, you don't need much, Annabelle, okay? If you want to prove you're not the darkness, just sit in there and don't move. Just be quiet. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll let you out tomorrow morning, okay? O okay. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Minecraft Life. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to hit that like button before you guys leave. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. I have a whole new schedule, guys. And starting this week, Tuesday, my new schedule starts two kingdoms a week, two lives a week, and two mod showcases every single week. So I hope you guys are super excited for the new schedule. And I cannot wait to see you guys on Tuesday. But thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, remember to take it easy. Live and squeezy.